given the head of a linked list, return the node where the cycle begins. If there is no cycle, return null. So what is a linked list? A normal list or an array has values and indices corresponding to each value. It's good for fast predetermined lookups. Like if we want to go to the second index, then we will find a value at that specific index. A linked list, as I mentioned, it's not a list. It's a specific type of graph, one where the pointers only go in one or two directions instead of multiple directions like you would in a normal graph. Um, if we were to start at node with the value of three uh, and we move forward, we'd get to the node with the value of two um, and then the node with the value of zero and then the node with the value of negative four. And then if we kept moving forward, it'd take us back to the node with a value of two. And from there, if we move forward, it'd be to the node with a value of zero. So how can we determine whether this has a cycle or not? That's basically the question. So in example three, that's an example where we don't have a cycle. And uh, basically if you start at the node with a value one and you move forward, the next node would be have a value null or it would be none so there is no cycle um, they don't give us a better example than that but if we go back to the first example if you can imagine um, it's possible that the node with a value of negative four wouldn't be pointing to the node with a value of two that's pointing to the node with a value of zero it could be pointing forward to none or a node that has a null value in which case there wouldn't be a cycle here all right so let's jump into my solution hopefully these notes make sense <laughs> and uh basically actually when i first did this solution a few years ago it was running faster than 95 percent of solutions and it's a very inside the box um, solution to the problem uh, you start with a hash set and wherever you are on the linked list, you see, have I been here before or not? Um, if I have been here before, then that means that there is a cycle and we can return that current node. Um, and that's what this line means, return head, because we're starting at head. Head is just a common, it's a common term um, in linked lists for the node that you're currently at, calling it head. And uh, if not, then we add it to the hash set. So we're keeping track of all the nodes that we've passed by and realize that what we're adding isn't a specific value in an index like in a normal list, it's a node. So it has the current value, but it also has a pointer, which would be uh, the next node and its value, and then possibly the next next node and its value. Um, so yeah, this is still running at 90, uh, faster than 90% of solutions. Um, it's pretty inside the box if you think about it. If you get to a point where you're moving forward and there is no node, um, then it just returns none because that's the case where there is no cycle. So now I'll be honest, I've been uh, working as a data and a backend engineer for about seven years and um, I've never gotten a linked list problem on an interview. Uh, but I think these are kind of interesting problems to think about. A lot of times I'm on Leak Code just to relax. It's a lot like Sudoku for me or, or word, word puzzles. So uh, this kind of problem can be relaxing. And at least if you practice this sort of thing, you know that if a linked list problem comes up, that you'll be prepared for it.